Hey, Pete. Folks. <laughs> Welcome. Yep, Larry's Fountain Pens here, and today I'm going to do a review on the Lizconti Mirage Horn. Uh, this was loaned to me from a friend of mine. I want to say thank you to Doug, and I will get this back to you tomorrow. You've seen my uh, review on the this got to Mirage the horn. This is a fine nib, but today I will demonstrate uh, how the broad nib compares to the fine nib. So if you watch my video, this performed extremely well. Fine nib laid down a nice uh, line of ink, uh, nice wet smooth nib. It, it it really performed extremely well. I was excited enough to order another one. I'm waiting for Anderson pens, uh, and that's going to be in the emerald color, and I'll talk more about that later. So let's open it up. Comes in your cardboard sleeve box with the Visconti logo there, usual, and this one comes in a cardboard box uh, again with the Visconti logo here and very pronounced the V and uh, interesting pen case. They didn't spend a lot of money in the, the pin case, which is cool because they put the money into the pin, and that's the important part. If you're like me and you're into pin cases, uh, I save on mine. I don't throw mine away because I have reasons for that that I've explained in my video. So let's open it up, and it comes with a cartridge and the brochure. Tell me about the pin. There's probably nothing underneath this. No, didn't come up. So here's the pin right here. And we'll set this aside. This pin was uh, purchased from Anderson Pins. And thank you, Brian, for helping Doug with the pin order. Appreciate that. He really enjoyed it. He enjoyed your thank you note. And uh, we'll be seeing you guys, Brian and Lisa, at the Dallas Pin Show this year. Can't wait. Yes, I'll take some money, Brian and Lisa, so be prepared. I want to buy, buy, buy. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, that's right. Okay, let's take out the pen, and we'll put all this cool stuff aside. And I'll just put that over here like that. Take that out of here. And here is the pen, and let me put this on a little sleeve. Here we go. Some of the uh, pads that uh, Kara Overman makes, and so I really like them. You can use these for uh, to put your drink on, a cold drink on, and, or you can put put your pins on, uh, whatever you like. So they're really cool. So thank you, uh, Kara Overman, for everything you do to help me out. I appreciate that. So anyway, here is this lovely, beautiful horn, Mirage by Visconti. I do love this clip, color click with Visconti, really pronounced, done really well, engraved into the clip on both sides of the clip. Uh, make sure we get a real good close-up shot of all the details in this pen. And then, of course, the detail in this beautiful pen. They did some amazing work in this pen. It really is a deal breaker, the way this pen performs. And uh, you can pick up one, like I said, at Anderson Pins. Uh, this is where I usually shop at. A uh, little bit of here and there, but uh, mostly Anderson, the Pin Think Store, Goulet, and stuff like that. Uh, pin Chalet, yeah. And, of course, uh, the uh, Fountain Pin Revolution. Yep. Uh, Brian from Fountain Pin Revolution. If you haven't seen him, check him out. But anyway, this is all about the Vance County Mirage Horn. Beautiful fountain pen. It is an eye catcher. And just look at the designs, look at the colors, look at the swirls, and they're just really nice looking pen. And the top of the finial, you'll see it's a little bit different on the top. The clip kind of goes over and fits into their very top, but when you go down to the barrel, you'll see that my pen system is down on the bottom of the barrel. They've changed it up just a little bit. And you can see that really good. Yes, so let's go ahead and Take the cap off, magnetic closure, kind of kind of clip in there, kind of, and you twist it in and 
sucks it up with that magnet. See there? Boom. I like that. And does it post? Yes, it does post very securely. And uh, for those who like to post your pen, you can do that. And it's got that wonderful, beautiful nib uh, with the Visconti logo on there. I like all the detail on the nibs and B for broad and uh, let's open it up and it comes with a converter that I really like Vince Gotti converter it says on here uh, I'm looking for detail And it does have something on the converter I'm trying to make out for you guys. Looks like a Schmidt converter, it says on a Schmidt. Uh, that's interesting. So, I thought I'd just pass that along. And it's a pull-out and push-in converter. Cool. So that's how this little jewel works. So... There's no need for to go into uh, the the weight or the length and all that stuff because I've already done one. Just check out my previous video I did on the one with a fine dip. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink this jewel up and show you how it writes. All righty here. And I'm going to be using the famous Diamine Blue Velvet. Now this is Doug's personal bottle of ink. And this is what he uses. This is his favorite all-time blue ink. And this is all he uses. Okay. I am helping Doug on his journey with fountain pens. I started him last year teaching him about fountain pens and uh, he knows what he likes and he knows what he doesn't like okay trying to fill this here we go I have to angle it sometimes at a different angle start filling it because that ink starts getting low but as you can see voila boom there it is boom okay let me put that down I do not want to damage it it is not my pen so We'll put everything together, then we'll do some writing. How's that? Let me put this pen right there. And while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and dip my pen in the ink. I'm not going to fill it, just dip it. So I can show you the, the difference between the fine and the broad. How's that? Is that a winner? Is that cool? <coughs> Uh, I hear you guys. I hear you. Yes, sir. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Now we put this aside. Get this off. Dun, 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 dun. The Beatles. Yes, yes, yes. I am. Yes, hey. I'm me, and I'm not going to change. That's how I am. That's how I roll, and I rock. So, can you dig it? I thought you could. So, let me get the uh, old Rodeo dot grid paper. And... Uh, what do you say we do uh, some writing? Writing. And we will first use, make sure I got the right pen here. The broad net. Right here is the broad nib, and I will go ahead and post it for you guys. Now, you know, first of all, it's, I have small hands, and if it's fine in my hand, uh, if you 
prefer to post your pin, that's fine too. So here we go. And this is a broad nib. The ink I'm using today lovely pen, lovely nib, and lovely ink. So let's do some writing now. That was my fault, excuse me. And we'll do some little swirls here. And we'll do a wet test. This pen delivers nice wet nib. Smooth nib, performs well, outstanding fountain pen. There's nothing I do not like about the pen. Now we're gonna put pen against pen on the nibs. This is the broad with the downstroke and the cross stroke. And here is mine with a fine with the downstroke. You can automatically see that in the cross stroke. And you can see mine here. You do see the difference. Yes. So I believe, yeah, I believe I've ordered my emerald uh, barrage from Anderson. I, I'm thinking, I'm not sure if it's a medium or a broad, but I know I do, I do want to get. Uh, all three different nibs so whatever I get from Anderson's uh, I'll probably go back and make sure I get the red one with a different nib so here is the nib and I'll do some writing as well There you have it. Nice nib. Very nice. And you can do, you do see the difference in the nib sizes. The broad, the fine. Both Viscati and Barrage. Nice pen. The horn. There they are. Beautiful fountain pens. Pick your weapon. Is it broad or is it fine? So, you know, I really wasn't uh, knowing what to think about the new Visconti font pen, fountain pen because of the departure of the longtime uh, fellow that was been working with Visconti. Uh, you know, when he left and started his own. Uh, so... I, I took a risk and I got out there and I said, you know what, I do review pens and I might as well bite the bullet. And this was money been putting away, money putting, 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 putting away to save, save for fountain pen. So I did it. And this is one time I'm really glad I did it because this pen met all of my expectations and more. It truly delivered. It did everything plus what I want a fountain pen to do. And believe it or not, I was really amazed how affordable these pens are. That's what I wasn't getting. How can a fountain pen of such quality be at such an affordable rate? So I was kind of leery. But, uh, you know, if you hadn't got yours yet, I highly recommend it. Because, you know, one day, maybe next year or the following year, you know how things are, prices go up, you know, like with the Pilot Metropolitan, went up a few dollars. But these pens are worth your time, and 
worth your money, but that's up to you to make that decision. It's not mine. Just my humble recommendation. Folks, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pens. You guys are the star. You rock. It's not me, the reviewer. I just show the cool stuff. It's you guys that subscribe and leave your cool comments that makes me, gives me the pleasure, gives me the honor to serve you. Can you dig that? Cool. All right, you can help me out. Spread the word about Larry's Fountain Pen. And more coming up soon about that giveaway coming up soon. I got a lot of giveaways, in fact, coming up soon. So hang tight. Talk with you guys later. Peace out. <coughs>